like I'm literally like my Lexus is right there and the sun is reflecting off the Lexus into my eyeballs. It also makes me look like Casper the Ghost. So this is my LS3 350Z. We just finished it up and golly, that's so freaking bright, ow. I literally can't look at that, it hurts. Okay, I moved the Evo, now I can see with my eyes. So on Twitter and Instagram, I did a poll and asked you guys, would you guys wanna know how much I spent on my car? Basically everybody that says yes, except for the people that just say no, just to say no. And there's also a big recommendation for you to make this video because I know there's a lot of people out there that want to LS swap or have thought about LS swapping their car. It's a very common swap. What I do want to say, I don't know why it's a thing when people say that you can LS swap a car for like three, five grand. Sure, dude, if you don't have power steering and intake or an engine, sure, you can you can swap it for 4,000, that's cool. But right here, I have the uh, I have my bank statements and a summarized thing of exactly what I bought, what I spent money on, and I'm gonna explain to you guys, go through and do a build breakdown on the LS3, tell you guys how much I spent. And I do wanna say, precursor, there's a lot of different ways you can do an LS swap. A lot of different methods, a lot of different varieties in price. And just like people's butts, every car is different. So if you're doing it to a 370Z or to a 240SX or to a, Nissan GTR, like it, it's all going to be different. So I wanted to go ahead and to, to say that. So what I spent on mine is not necessarily how much you will spend, but I will tell you that what I'm gonna tell you at the very end is gonna be ballpark. So the biggest part about the engine swap was my ATK high performance engine. It is a fully built, never been driven before LS3 from GM. Zero mile motor, never been used from the factory. So that package alone is about $7,000. The biggest thing about doing these swaps is you can get a Junkyard 5.3 or LS1 or LS2, LS3, LS7. You can put whatever LS you want in it and it's always gonna cost a different amount. But if you have to rebuild it, usually you're gonna be spending two to $4,000, especially if you want the car to continue running well. If you want to see some more ATK High Performance Engines has a website you guys can go ahead and check out and uh, you can see what they have to offer and what they do to their engines. So to start off, a couple months ago, I uh, just was looking at swap kits. There's a, bunch of ki there's a bunch of companies out there. The Zs, they're all pretty similar. I went with ISR Performance. The ISR Performance swap kit comes with everything you saw in the episodes. It came with uh, the transmission mount. I did CD09, so we adapted that. And it comes with engine mounts. It comes with headers. And so the ISR kit is 45. $500. So that alone right there, um, that gets the engine in your car. $4,500 plus whatever you want to call it. Let's just say you get the motor for free. You're talking like $5,000 just to have the motor in your car without having to pay somebody to help you put it in. Not to count like all the beers and little tools I had to buy, like that was a lot of money as well. <laughs> Cause you know, we had to get, we had to get the boys around Trackstar back somehow, you know? Beers were really what makes the workflow, I think. If you don't drink, that's fine, but you know, some of us do in a healthy way. So I'm just gonna say this, so fuel, I had to get a new fuel pump, I had to get new fuel lines from Deech Works. So that's gonna be about $500. Again, this is up to your discretion, you can do whatever you want. You can't keep the stock fuel pump to feed this motor. You can keep stock injectors, it's a stock LS3 intake manifold with stock injectors, stock fuel rails and everything. You can upgrade all that and you can add anything you want to this, but I'm, again, I'm just telling you what I got. So fuel from Deech Works was $500. Wiring specialties, the wiring harness that I got is really nice. It's very awesome. It adapts everything from the 350Z to a GM LS3. It came with an ECU. Um, it's ready for AC. It has everything. And again, in the future, I'm going to end up doing AC in this car because I'm in Texas. I'm already sweating just sitting in my garage because of a lack of airflow. It gets hot here. We need AC. So that was $1,700. $1,700 for a wiring harness. Now you can cheap out or you can literally just wire it yourself. I can't do wiring. So you can, you can go really cheap on wiring, but I really like my wiring specialties. The wiring specialties was really good, very high quality harness, plug and play. Everything was the perfect length and it cleaned up really nicely and it looked good and they adapted like, I have factory oil pressure, bro. My oil pressure gauge works. Mishimoto, I'm actually wearing this shirt right now, like not intended, it's just kind of comfy and that's what I put on this morning. I actually filmed another video with my Civic and I was wearing the same shirt, so if you're wondering that when you watch the next video, that's why. I had to get, uh, I had to get fans and a radiator and an oil cooler. Just for those three things, you're talking about $860. You have to cool an engine. LS's actually, believe it or not, run hotter than Phoenix, Arizona. When you're running at like 210, you're really pushing a lot of boundaries, so you have to have cooling, of course. So fans, radiator, and oil cooler as well. It's very important to have an oil cooler. That's $860. I spent $670 with Siki. Siki also makes a mount kit. I went ahead and went with ISR, but uh, Siki makes a mount kit. I got a, uh, I got like a little like power steering 
like adapter and I got some other stuff with them. I think this is with the Hydro. Uh, Victoria puts 670 on there. Maybe that's too much. I think it was like 300 bucks for the power steering adapter, which you have to do. You have to adapt power steering or you're not going to have power steering at all. You have biceps like me, baby. Just kidding. I'm not even, it's not even big. It's, it's almost small. I'm small. I got lucky and had a friend Malik that had a very cheap eBay exhaust. So he threw a $125 exhaust on there. That was pretty nice. But some kits, unlike ISR, ISR gives you headers that bolts up to the factory exhausts. Sometimes you get fabricate, like custom fab stuff. That can be another thousand dollars. Then you have the AccuSum. The AccuSum is 250 and that's not including all of the AN lines and fittings you have to buy. There's a lot of stuff. You have to get a check valve, you have to get a T, you have to make sure, you know, it's obviously very important these your schematics and stuff are correct, but the AccuSum is very important. It's not actually on the car right now. I'm very excited to get it on, but we were in a rush to get to this event just to see if the car even worked correctly, which it didn't, spoiler alert. The biggest thing about swaps, and I said this in a video, I said, if you wanna do an engine swap, make sure you have thousands of disposable dollars ready, or it's going to take you months. Are you ready for this? At O'Reilly and Summit, getting the cheapest variation of parts I could, like saving the most that I could, $2,927. What's crazy is that's only stuff that's like really small. In order for me to run this car correctly, for a serpentine belt to go around the motor to power everything correctly, I had to use F-body components. I had to buy MSD coil packs. I had to buy little like covers for the coil packs going to the spark plugs so they didn't get burned by the headers. I had to buy hoses. I had to buy an intake. I had to buy, I had to go through and like get custom radiator hoses and like custom fittings and stuff like that. Like that stuff adds up and in, a, in just over a week, I spent $3,000 between O'Reilly and Summit. Summit sells really nice stuff, of course. I mean, that's just like water pump. Like that's just little stuff you don't even think about before doing a swap that you absolutely have to have. I think that's the biggest thing people, people underestimate. Like, yeah, sure, you might be able to go to Jim Bob's house and have him like stick weld something together to get, your, to get an LS into your car. But if you're going to get an LS working in your car and you want to have brand new components and like you don't want that thing to look like a PO Schneike, you want it to look nice, you want it to perform nicely, you're going to be spending thousands of dollars on top of like after getting everything in your car, after getting like your drive shaft, your transmission, like just to get little things running, um, just a little itty bitty thing, you're going to be spending thousands. So the end result of my my total cost, $18,533. That's a pretty rough estimate, like that could be plus or minus a few hundred dollars. And I want you guys to know that is without paying any labor, but it also doesn't include sponsorships. We did have a lot of sponsorships on this car. I do want to give a big thanks to Trackstar. Trackstar Motorworks is Ethan. He is the, he's the tuner. He is the person that really put so much time and effort away from his shop into getting this ready. And I'm so thankful for him and I'm thankful for the shop, and I'm also thankful for ATK High Performance Engines for being such a massive sponsor on this build. Big thanks to ATK High Performance Engines. They, they will be in the description for you to check out. Deech Works, Wiring Specialties, Mishimoto, Siki, ISR, <laughs> Actually, everybody that I mentioned uh, was in some sort of sponsorship. My two biggest are ATK and Trackstar Mediaverse. That's why they're embedded in the back of my car. And what's great, guys, is this is not even over. I still have to find some way to adapt AC to the car. And I have to get a new condenser. I have to get hard lines remade. There's a lot of things that do that happen whenever you're doing stuff like this, uh, when you're doing a swap like this, that you really just don't anticipate. If I were to give you guys an estimate, like a budget, if you wanted to say, hey, I don't, I don't even care what your car is. If you have a Miata, if you have an, not an Evo, that would be oh so expensive. If you have a Miata, if you have any rear wheel drive car that it's been done before, I would say budget $15,000 to put an LS of any sort into your car. You can do it for 10. You might even be able to do it for five. It's not gonna run very well. It's gonna look ugly for five unless your friends have literally nothing better to do and they're amazing mechanics. I would say budget 10 to $15,000 is about what you're gonna be spending to do an LS swap, specifically an LS swap into a car. Before I could even afford it to do a 1JZ into my SC300, it cost me about five to five to eight thousand dollars for that car. But the motor was supposed to, like the motor came in that car. It's expensive. 
it's expensive. It's definitely not cheap to engine swap a car. Worth it? Absolutely. Can't wait to rip this car. I need to get some more driving experience. Very excited for that. But I wanted to make a video explaining to you guys how the hell much money I just spent. Even on a video like this, I gotta give you guys some daily advice. So my daily advice to you guys is, I wanna remind you guys that you are not your, you are not what people have labeled you. You're not what your parents have told you you are or who they have been in the past. You're not who your teachers called you that you were. You're not who your friends label you as. You are exactly who you work your butt off to be. Some people take that a little too loosely and take it a little stretched, but I want you guys to know that uh, you're not a loser. You're not dumb. You're not insignificant. You're not whatever your parents called you when you were a kid. I want you guys to know that you're very special and that you have the power to do a lot of stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I've never, I've, been, I've never ended a video like that. Maybe it's because my hands are free and I'm just like psyched right now. Peace. Hey, I got two, I got, no, three, two, two videos. Yeah, I got two videos for you guys to watch. I want you to watch those two videos right in front of your face. Click on those two videos. Don't go to anybody else's channel. Stop, stop, stop going over there. No, yeah, click on one of those videos. Yeah, dude, click on those right there. One of those two, they're so good.